been at it for 25 years. So what's the secret? Well, I went all the way up to Nottingham to find out, and I got Tony, Mike, and Phil, and we went behind the scenes. Genesis has come to Nottingham. In a matter of hours, this empty auditorium will be transformed. Tonight at 10 past 8, 2,500 fans will look on as one of the world's biggest bands walks on this stage. What happens between now and then is what I'm about to find out. They've played 60 dates in 90 days from New York's Giant Stadium to London's Ells Court. It takes an army of people, 52 juggernauts, and a Boeing 727 jet to get Genesis on the road. One box of eight, 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 eight. One big jigsaw. Now, when you set a stage up, is it always the same order? No matter how big or small the venue? It depends on the venue sometimes. You might have to do things a little bit different, but as a rule, you try and keep it consistent. Right. The equipment is rigged with military-style organization to make sure the stage is set in time. Say, the real big stadiums, how much power does Genesis use for one of them? Uh, on the big stadium tour, I think that's about 3,000, 3,000, 1,000 amps. Right. It's probably enough power to power a city like Portsmouth. Up to 250 backstage crew are fed three times a day. A mobile kitchen packed in flight cases is wheeled into every venue to cater for the hungry roadies and technicians. Excuse me. I'm having a bit of trouble. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Yep, that's it. The lighting truss is raised into position to make way for the sound riggers. OK, John, you all right? Yeah, no problem. Carol Graham is in charge of what happens backstage, and that includes getting the band's dressing room ready. Bit of a check from the truck, but here we are. Yep, only up three flights. There you go. And crack it on. The wardrobe. The wardrobe. Well, I wish mine was as tidy as this. Well, What's in it then? What do they wear? OK. Let's get this out. Well, no, let's have a look at that. It's Mike Rutherford's jacket. Mike Rutherford's jacket. Very Just nice. Just about your size, actually. He's about your size. He's quite big, isn't he? Yeah, he is big lads, too. Very nice, very nice. So we've got that. What else we've got in here? The obligatory jeans. The obligatory jeans, yes. Mr. Collins' jeans. All right. We're only coming in here to do a show. You set it up as a sort of mini house for a day. That's all you do. We need five chairs in here, we need a mirror, we need somewhere to hang the clothes, we need showers, toilets. That's all we need. Let's just come in here and do a show. They've been doing this for 25 years. John! Can you get me for tea? For tea? Well, that's fine. Mike Rutherford's guitar. The drum sets of Mr. Phil Collins. It's five o'clock, and Phil Collins, the lead singer of Genesis, arrives. Yes, someone will come out and get them, and we'll do them inside if it's all right. Come out and get him. You'll come and get him. Come and get him. Okay. Hi, Phil. Welcome to Nottingham. Keyboardist Tony Banks and guitarist Mike Rutherford are on stage to check the gear out. technically should be in place and Genesis are on stage now for the sound check.
a great way to see the world, too. Then. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, very much. I mean, uh, we travel so fast these days, as opposed to sort of 15 years ago, that you don't get to see an awful lot. Because it's mainly, mainly show days and traveling. When you're on the road, the whole day is geared up for the show. Uh, there isn't much time for anything else, as Mike says. You know, you're basically traveling and, and, and things, and it, it's the sort of focus of the day, and you build up for it. And when you're playing to a lot of people, you, you can't sort of just you can't just sort of go up there and go half-heartedly at it. You've got to go right for it. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine being in a band, especially at this stage in life, when you're, you're less patient and things are not right. To, to, with guys, you couldn't get on. I mean, you hear horror stories about people who have separate dressing rooms yeah. and, and don't talk and just meet on stage. I think. I said earlier, half the fun of it is, is writing together, recording together, hanging out a bit. Yeah, we enjoy writing the music, we enjoy playing together, we enjoy playing on our own. We enjoy doing everything, don't we? Yeah. And we well. just scrape the surface, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> 25 years, 17 albums, we just scrape the surface. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your half hour call. 30 minutes, please. Thank you. donated all these albums which they have personally signed for us to sell at our bring and buy sale. So I'll just give hand them over to somebody over here. 